Yeah, so back to what I was saying, it's a little breezy out here today. You know, why should mothers bother staying when they're not like they sit up here and say, oh, I love my mom. She said, the woman who was in the Uber, I love my mom, but I couldn't imagine spending no time with her, eating with her, and not spending like an hour or so with my mom, you know? And she talks so badly. She said how I love you. Love is an action word, first of all. Love is an action word. Your mother is not perfect. You have no problem putting up with these no good, and I mean toxic, demons, gambling problems, alcohol problems, drug problems, and you have no problem whatsoever when it comes to that. You're all forgiving. You go back home to him each and every day, giving him sloppy toppy, cooking and cleaning, and doing everything in your power to hang on to that no good, toxic piece of nothing. But your mom, you're so hard on her. And like I said, look at how her children treat her. She's been in and out of jail. Don't blame the mother. Blame the father for not being there, okay? Blame him. Ephesians 6, 4. I rest my case on that one. But I still say, moms, why bother? Why bother? Give these kids, when you push them out of your body, it's legal to just leave them in the hospital. It's legal. You won't do no time. Or give them to their father. Leave them at the freaking fire department, what have you, because you're not going to be appreciated anyway. No matter how hard you work, because you're not perfect, you're not perfect, mom, and you're going to mess up. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fall short. But don't beat yourself up, up about it. You try to do better. You try to go to counseling. Like me and my daughter, we are estranged because I don't want to be a Jehovah Witness. And they teach you when you don't want to be a Jehovah Witness, you have to shun your family, you have to throw them to the garbage. You know, of course it's a man-made organization. Anything that deals with a man, she's with it. Her father, who was, didn't care whether she lived or died, is she eating, did, is she warm? Nothing. But yet he comes back after all the work is done and she's all lovey-dovey. She has more pictures with him than with me. And I was the one on, on the job. I worked hard with those kids being a single mother. My son and I were tight every Saturday. Every Saturday, unless he's vacationing because he loves to travel. That boy is amazing. But for some reason, these daughters, that's why they get dogged. They get stuck in these marriages and they can't get out. Jesus is not going to help you get out. You're trapped. And you're going to keep getting dogged. And you deserve it. And until you do right by your mother, may your life be a living hell. And I mean that. How dare you?